Hi, you're watching Velo News TV. I'm Neil Rogers here on the Champs Elysees, the 2008. Hi, you're watching Velo News TV. I'm Neil Rogers here on the Champs Elysees in Paris. The Tour de France 2008 has just finished. Uh, it's been a long three weeks. Uh, just like the riders are exhausted, uh, I can I can honestly say I'm fairly exhausted as well. Uh, it's been a fun trip. We've had a lot of uh, good times, funny memories, a few mistakes made along the way. We wanted to share some of those with you, so uh, have a look and enjoy. So, I mean, you're talking about re relatively recent events. I mean, uh, high roads. High Roads had a, a high road that is... Let's get a shot of Whitey's, Whitey's nuts. Which ones? Small nuts. Look at him. His nuts, man. There's going to be no chocolate in the car on the tour. <laughs> Just nuts. I'm banning it. Nuts, apples, and red bull. Ice cakes. Yeah. Why keep a face like this off the cameras? <laughs> Hopefully the other sprinters will be watching me, you know. On my back, I might, I might write something on my bum. I don't know, you know. So uh, it's, I think it's an exciting start to the tour. Sure, we're sort of out of the road. What do you want to do? Okay, yeah. How do you feel about that? About what? Sorry. The uh, bonifications. The side went the whole day and always up and down, and so everybody was a little bit, uh, yeah. Fucked when we when we come to the last 10 Ks. Hi, <laughs> I need to go sign on board, otherwise I get a time uh, I get a penalty. I'm sorry. Uh, Nikki, we go signing. Yeah, we're hey. just asking one question to Yeah, but there's another 10 people with one question, and then the UK pay my penalty. If you sign that, then I, I, then I can sign it. Uh, programming your computer. Yeah, <laughs> Tried to shake Bernardino's hand. Well, we're out here in the rain. I'm gonna let you go. One last question. Uh, a little bit of a relief. You didn't take the win, but a bit of a relief to finally left a little bit of a stamp on the race. Yeah, no, for sure. And, you know, and hopefully tomorrow we leave an even bigger stamp. So All right, good luck. All right, thanks. Kim Kim, Kimmy Kirschen, Kim Kim, Kimmy Kirschen, Kim Kim, Kimmy Kirschen. It was only a micro, micro stuff. I didn't consume this this, this shit. And uh, yeah, when I did, I, I, I drive drunk in a car. And I'm really proud of that because I am not a good example for other guys. And uh, yeah. That was man. Good? I always follow the winners, man. Hey, Phil, how you going, mate? Let one slip on versus the other day, which is perfectly acceptable on Velenu's TV, but uh, what kind of feedback have you gotten on that? Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, Mostly good feedback, except for my wife. She she wasn't very happy with it at all. I already went out to pay another 10 riders from 10 teams to go on a breakaway, so I can actually justify that I'm out there. <laughs> I just went from bus to bus with my little suitcase full of money. You know, Here, here's some euros, please go today. <laughs> Christian, was that the plan all along going into the stage? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was uh, good old John Wilcox who told me to attack, and I was like, at first I fought him, and then I was like, yeah, maybe it's a good idea. <laughs> Are you more or less protected in these stages? I mean, you just do what you can, or are they not expecting you to ride at the front at, at any point? Doubt it. <laughs> oh, no. nice. nah, it. It makes me fucking pissed off when people are surprised that this happens. It's like we've been decades getting to this point. If everybody's naive and foolish enough to think that we're never going to have a positive control again, then you may as well go home and not like cover this race.
Anything else? Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Pretty much covers it. Do you feel like you're getting enough credit here from the media about uh, your performance at the tour? I really see the media as kind of a, a hassle. I don't really look for them for anything. Yeah. You can't trust them. You <laughs> can't trust the media. Yeah. What's the stupidest question you've been asked here on tour? <laughs> um, I can't remember. Most of them. All of them. What were your personal thoughts about Astana not being invited to this tour? Well, you know, when we now talk about like how the race would be if they are here, then we can as well talk about like how the race would be if Ben I know would be still here or Eddie Merckx. You know, it's just like how it is, and we gotta live with the situation we have. But then he knocked on the window and then he opened the door opened and he passed me the helmet here and said, there's your interview, close the door again. And I think his helmet is obviously pretty explanatory as to what he's feeling and uh, what's happening now. Yeah, and he said to me uh, as he was running along, don't let anyone touch my left side, my left shoulder. So uh, let's hope that my shoulder's not too bad. Yeah, I got a good look on uh, his left side as he went in. His elbow was fairly badly cut up and you already see the swelling. Yeah, blood coming out, um, and uh, also down his left side, so uh, I'm assuming he's being whisked off to uh, be checked right now from the team doctor. But after your crest yesterday, uh, I was very worried, and I think everybody was very worried. It must be very touching when you have the yellow jersey today, then. Uh, it's, um, I honestly, I can't quite believe it at this stage. Yesterday, I thought my tour was over, and today, I'm in yellow. <laughs> That's the way the sport goes, eh? Tomorrow you have a rest day and then you plan to attack it. Uh, don't touch, don't touch spa. Come on, Jeremy boy! Come on. Come on. It's all right? Oof, I think so. <laughs> all right. <laughs> One day rolls into the next. Yeah. We saw you yesterday at the uh, Chipotle burrito event. Looks like you're rocking a new haircut. <laughs> yeah, I would just uh, I needed to, to trim it down. It was getting a bit long. We saw Silence Lotto at the front early, and CSC came to the front later. Can you talk about the sort of the moment uh, when it seemed to switch from Cadell's team to your team on the front? Um, well, Reo <laughs> attacked and. Uh, yeah, I think he attacked, uh, he attacked us. He has a roommate, and uh, the, the team is interacting every day uh, in each other's rooms uh, for massage and uh, meals, and, and uh, 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 this is a complete surprise for the team. Yes, completely surprised and shocked. <laughs> That's just, I think that's just uh, pure ignorancy. Can't, I can't even really explain that one. I lost my camera. Yeah, yeah uh, okay. Well, this is getting a little chaotic. George, thanks for the time. Right. Have a good stage today. It's a sad thing for the cycling. There are uh, no more comments about this. All right, got you. Julian, I thought we'd start off uh, today with a little pop quiz. What day of the week is this? <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> what stage number is this? 12. 13. What's, what city are we in? Names. Narbonne. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me my name. <laughs> hey, David, can we just throw one quick question at yeah. you? This is our uh, question of the day. Today it's uh, how the Tour de France fits into your Olympic preparation Olympic goals. I can't do the fucking Olympics. I'm banned. You oh, know. shit. Sorry, man. Oh, man. You're <laughs> killing me. Uh, tell us about your day. Well, I need to talk an hour about that. I hope that at no time during the race do I find myself in a headlock. But if I do, if, if it happens, I understand. I push you away. <laughs> oh, it's a pretty big race this year already. Oh, we got to back up here for a second. Um, I'll just start that. It goes on the uh, outtakes reel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll just start that. I'll start that question over. Because yeah, that's your uh, the best opportunity you've had in this race. I was hoping maybe we could just uh, ask you one or two questions. 
Yeah, you can because but I have to make my my laundry. Yeah, no problem. All right, Stefan Schumacher, I guess first things first, we see you here with your suitcase on the ground. Uh, looks like the Gerolsteiner bus has been uh, broken down today. Uh, like a junior team we are today, yeah? we are <laughs> with, the, with few cars, and, uh, yeah, but the bus is broke. I don't know what, flat tire or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, very popular, you know, more than better than more than uh, the, the racer. <laughs> And I guess, uh, yeah, if I can, I will attack. I have to, I have to take time out of these guys, of course, if I want to win the tour. I know, but every, t just give me, leave me alone. I think the best rumor I heard so far was that Neil got some Italian booty last night. <laughs> yeah. It's all good, I guess. I have no uh, underwear and I'm really wet, and, but I think, uh, yeah, for me the favorite is Kidal. It's hurting, but fucking enjoy it, and uh, that's what we did today. <laughs> Hi, you're watching Vela News TV. I'm Neil Rogers here at the start of stage 18 in Bourges de Sa Bo <laughs> I'm not even going to try that name. I don't even know how to say yeah, it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Hi, you're watching Vela News TV. I'm Neil Rogers here at the start of H. <sighs> I, uh, I'm cracked. <laughs> I'm, I'm so ready for this to be over. All right. I totally fucked up the intro. I think can't be, so I don't want to do that again. All right. What's that? Borg de Swan. Nah, I'm not even going to try it. I don't know there is. Yeah, there you go. Hi, you're watching Vela News TV. And what about you? I mean, uh, you're thinking a good time trial Saturday and you've got fourth locked up. Is that sort of the, your mentality? Fourth locked up. So I'm going to move up two, two spots? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think so. All right. Dude. Une photo. Une photo. Une photo. Une photo. Une photo. Une photo. Une Hi, I'm Neil Rogers, and what you see behind me is definitely not Vela News TV. Like up in smoke, he's gone. Uh, tomorrow is the. Uh, let me start over. Hang on. All right. Uh, which means tomorrow is general class. Uh, I'm just gonna pick up where I left off. I'm just gonna start over. Hi, you're watching Vela News TV. I'm Neil Rogers here in mont Luzon at the finish of stage 19 with people walking right in front of me, not minding a thing. And uh, I'm going to start that over.
Attention, attention. On peut appuyer On peut appuyer Laisse, laisse. Oh, great, I think I'm going to no bibs, you can stay. This was not the Jens Folk wants to get the yellow jersey show. This was the Carlos Sastre show. I was about to fall into a million pieces yesterday. I was just totally about to get, you know, disintegrated more or less. Ryder Hedgedahl, Will Fishcorn, Martin Mascant, Trent Lowe. We're doing a little piece with uh, all five guys on the team. I don't want it. I'll get some Harry Boat to start. I'll take it. Awesome. Estás satisfecho? Sí, sí, yo creo que ha ido bien el tour, no he tenido You heard it here first on Bella News TV. <laughs> <laughs>